So we have two serious accounts of written testimony claiming that the commissioner was pressured to politically interfere in investigation. More documents released supporting RCMP Superintendent Darren Campbell's account that Commissioner Brenda Lucky told Mounties she was pressured by Minister Bill Blair during the Nova Scotia shooting investigation in order to help pass gun control laws. New documents from the Mass Casualty Commission include a letter from the former head of Nova Scotia RCMP Communications, Leah Scanlon. Scanlon writes she had a feeling of disgust as she realized the reason for a call between Nova Scotia Mounties and National HQ was pressure from then Public Safety Minister Bill Blair related to upcoming gun legislation. In a statement, Blair's office says at no time during his tenure as Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness did Minister Blair or his office direct the RCMP in any of their operational decisions, including during and immediately following the tragic events in April 2020. But that isn't satisfying the ranking Conservative on the Commons Public Safety Committee, which has called hearings next month into the matter. Brenda Lucky will be testifying, and Blair has been called as well. The Prime Minister has said that there was no undue pressure, but what does that mean? Uh, undue would mean excessive, so there was no excessive pressure? But there should be no pressure concerning political interference into an RCMP investigation. On Wednesday, Mounties held a memorial for Constable Heidi Stevenson, the officer killed during the Nova Scotia shooter's rampage. I know you have been supporting, all been supporting each other over the last couple of years. You have shown incredible strength and resilience. We must continue to find ways to hold each other up. It's not always easy, but together we must find ways to continue moving forward. In a statement, Lucky says she received Scanlon's letter, but says, I did in no way seek to interfere in the ongoing investigation, nor did I feel any political pressure to do so. This comes as Ottawa prepares for protests against vaccine mandates and more broadly the Liberal government. Dancho says the distrust of the Liberal government is understandable, but people have to keep their heads. My hope for Canada Day that across Canada, any demonstrations related to this or any other matter of public interest, that those uh, protests remain peaceful. That is, my re that is my request to all those looking to protest for whatever reason, that they remain peaceful and lawful. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.